I'm standing under the tree waiting for the dog to do a poo. That is too big to bring inside. Everything about it is just lovely. Very natural makeup look today. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're tired waking me up at seven in the morning. I think it's definitely time for an updated morning routine. Since bringing this little pickle home, my mornings have changed drastically, let me tell you that much. I used to never, ever be a morning person. I mean, I'm still not really, I'm not no 5am guru. But I used to wake up at about half eight, nine. I used to stay in bed, lounge around. Because obviously I work from home, my working hours can be whenever suits me. And whenever suited me, it used to be working until like one in the morning. Not anymore. When you've got a puppy that's waking you up at 7.15 on the dot, you've got to get up, you've got to get moving. So I thought today I would share with you what my morning routine now looks like. This video is very kindly sponsored by the lovely team over at Estrid. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about them later on in the video. But for now, I hope you enjoy it. I'm excited to let you into the dog mum life, the realities of having a puppy. Here we go. <laughs> Good morning. I heard you barking. Are you quite comfy in there? <laughs> you are the laziest puppy. <laughs> Lazy girl, she go and do a wee? So, oh, look at you looking at me. There is nothing more pure in this whole world than coming down to your puppy in the morning. Look what she's found this morning. You can't take that inside. <laughs> Currently 7.20 in the morning. It is raining. I'm standing under the tree in the garden waiting for the dog to do a poo. This is what my mornings look like now. <laughs> so glam. Now we wait and see whether Her Royal Highness would like a cuddle this morning or playtime. <laughs> I think today it's going to be a cuddle. <laughs> Judging by the state of this. Look at my matching PJs. These pyjama bottoms are from Topshop. They are the softest things ever. You just slept for seven hours. How can you be tired still? Actually, same. My mum has just woken up and come downstairs. So obviously Sunny wants some attention from her. So this happens every morning. Our routine is literally like clockwork. So while my mum is giving Sunny some attention, she also makes a cup of tea. She makes the best tea. I don't even bother making the tea in the morning because hers is so much better. That's a lie, sometimes I do. So yeah, I'm gonna sit and drink my cup of tea and now is the time when I check my phone. It's actually really nice to not check my phone as soon as I wake up anymore because I got into a really bad habit of doing that. And I don't think it sets your day off right. Now I just wake up, go out in the garden, get some fresh air and then check my phone and I way prefer that. Also, sorry about my morning voice. Obviously I've just woken up. Sound like Kermit the Frog. Sunny breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that weather this morning. Bit of a wet day, but at least the air is fresh. Here you go. She has actually already had most of her breakfast, but I forgot to film it. Don't worry, I'm not underfeeding my dog. So it's about eight o'clock now, and I'm now gonna make my breakfast. I'm not a huge breakfast person. I think I'm just gonna have some toast this morning, but I am a little bit peckish, and I wanna get my day started as soon as pos. Friday morning has taken a slight turn. Sunny, that is too big to bring inside. <laughs> she loves bringing in sticks from the garden, but she's truly outdone herself with this one. A whole branch. How did you get that through the patio door? This puppy honestly amazes me every day. Happy Friday, everyone. Just got a tree in my living room, the norm. Please excuse the state of me and the living room right now. I feel like I'm saying that to somebody every day. But I've just got dressed, I've washed my face and I've brushed my teeth. I've chucked on the dog walking outfit of all dog walking outfits this morning. And I'm about to take her out. It is raining a little bit. She doesn't love the rain, but she has got a little raincoat. And I'm gonna walk her in like a wooded area, so hopefully we won't get too wet. We usually walk her twice a day. So once in the morning and once in the evening. Show everyone your raincoat. 
Oh, such a pretty girl. Look what she's put on me, everyone. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> Where's little Sunny in her yellow raincoat? Here she is. She loves coming to see the swans, don't you, Sunny? And she doesn't mind puddles, which is a little bit annoying because <laughs> it means we're going to have to give her a wash when we get back. There she goes, looking at her best friend. When you think about it, the coat is quite metaphorical because she's a little bit of colour in a grey world. Oh, that's a bit deep this morning. I oh know. Happy Friday. <laughs> this coat, I really like it. It looks really cute, but it's not the most practical because her bum's wet, her legs are wet, her head's wet. The only thing that's dry is her back. <laughs> Come on, Sunny. Let's go, little soggy doggy. Oh my goodness, that walk though. It was actually raining way more than I thought it was. You know when you look out and you think, oh, it's only spitting, it's like light rain. No soaked we just got back we were all really cold so i've had a nice little coffee sunny is asleep in her bed she's knackered so she's just sat warming up and i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna have a shower this morning it's actually hair washing day for me and i never shower before a dog walk because what is the point you get wet you get muddy you get sweaty when you're playing with the dog so if i'm gonna shower in the morning i always wait until after the dog walk so i'm about to hop in and wash my hair i cannot wait to wash my hair this morning i'm also going to expose off some of my old tan and shave and moisturize and feel all lovely i'm gonna have a proper pamper shower this morning it's friday it's nearly the weekend and i'm feeling like treating myself as i've already mentioned this video is very kindly sponsored by the team over at estrid i've used estrid razors for months now and i cannot get enough of them i would never use another razor again super nice quality super affordable really nice brand ethics to me estrid is like Imagine if Harry Styles created a razor brand. Everything about it is just lovely. You know how he's very aesthetic, he's very friendly. That's the vibe I get from Estrid. So to get started on your Estrid journey, you can get the starter kit, which is $7.95. And in the starter kit, you get the razor. These are made of steel, so they're really nice quality. You also get two of the five blade cartridges. The moisturizing strip around the blades is also vegan. And you also get the wall holder. These things, very underrated. They basically just stick on your wall. You can take them off whenever you want. They don't leave any marks. You can move them around. But it means that you've always got somewhere to keep your razor. And it also lets the water drain off of it. There are five different colours to choose from. There are pink, grey, lilac, peach, and this new lemonade colour. This is so cute. You know what I said about Sunny's raincoat being the colour in the grey world. We have another one. You can also subscribe to Estrid for $9.95 whenever you need replacements. And you'll get four of the cartridge replacements you can get that package monthly every second month every third month depending on how much you shave i would say i shave probably every few days i'm definitely not a daily shaver i could not be bothered my mum has shaved her legs every night without fail since she was about 16. that requires some kind of medal because i do not have the patience <laughs> and you can also pick up one of their travel cases for your razor if you want to for an extra 5.95 but it's down to you right i'm gonna hop in the shower wash my hair wash my body got my body wash and my shaving cream here got my razor and i'm ready to go outfit of dreams on today because I actually don't have any plans to go out at all until Sunny's evening walk so I'm just at home today editing might do a bit of filming and stuff like that so super cozy can you see this in the mirror <laughs> have I put the camera too high cozy little cold this is from Miss Guy I did I feel so nice and clean and fresh and shaved and moisturized so if you are interested in checking out Estrid there is a link in the description down below and if you use the code Hannah at checkout Estrid will donate a pound to the Fawcett Society on your behalf they're an organization who works towards women's rights in the UK so yeah might as well enter the code Hannah and do your bit anyway I'm gonna dry my hair now I always put a little bit of oil in my hair after I wash it. These are just the Lee Stafford Cactus Crush Dazzle Drops. Super cheap, but smell really nice. And then I'm gonna get dry in it because it's so cold outside and I don't wanna get chilly. 
my face feels a little bit dry actually i think because i've been out in like the wind this morning so i'm just going to use a little bit of the body shops vitamin e moisture cream which is my favorite face moisturizer ever i don't really do a huge skincare routine in the morning i save that for the evening just before bed so just a little bit of moisturizer it is it is such a gloomy day today that i've had to put my ring light on just to film my makeup because you could barely see what i was doing without it but it does take quite a long time to film morning routines so it's about half past 11 now usually this whole process i would have got done by like mm, 10 15 it also depends what i'm doing like if i'm having a slower day like i am today then i'll take my time a bit more but if i've got stuff to do and it's a busy day i can get it all done probably by 10 i would say i'm ready by half nine if i'm not showering anyway i'm rambling so i'm about to do my makeup i'm gonna do a very very natural makeup look today because like i've said i'm just editing i'm staying at home today apologies if you don't like eyes while i put my contact lenses in Anyway, like I'm saying, very natural makeup look today. I'm probably going to speed up the part where I'm actually doing my makeup, but I'll tell you every product that I'm using before I use it, just in case you're interested in my daily makeup routine, really. I'll also link all the products in the description down below, so if anything catches your eye and you're like, hmm, that eyebrow product looks quite good, you can go and check it out down there. Okay, first step, I've obviously just moisturised, so my skin's kind of ready, but I'm then going to use this setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's also a primer spray as well though I've just zoomed you in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a bit better so first up I'm gonna use concealer this is the collection last imperfection concealer I use the shade 10 buttermilk I'm then gonna use a little bit of Benefit's Hoola Light Bronzer on my forehead and on my cheekbones. Because my tans kind of like at the end of the week now I don't like to use a really dark bronzer my makeup routine is so simple. So the next product that I use is from Iconic London and this is their sheer blush in the shade Rose Riot. Literally just put a dab of this on my cheeks. And I always put a little bit on my nose as well. It's at this point where I think, Han, you need some more concealer. You look tired. Story of my life, I look tired all the time. I'm then gonna powder under my eyes. So this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. And I'm just gonna kinda leave that to set while I do my eyebrows. So for brows, the first product that I use is also from Iconic London. I've been loving this recently. So this is the Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion in the shade Cool Fair. I really, really like this. So first of all, I'm just gonna comb my brows through. It's hard to describe what this product is. It's not a powder. It is just like a cushion full of products. <laughs> It's so hard to describe, I actually don't know like what I would describe this formula as. It's more powdery than creamy, but it's not a powder, like it doesn't fall down your face. Apologies if I keep looking to the side and watching the YouTube videos, I do this. But the next product I use is a, one of my fave brow products. It is Boy Brow from Glossier. So this is basically like just a little brow gel. You can just use this on your brows because it's a little bit tinted. But I like to give them a bit more definition than just using this. But I do use this to kind of stick my brows up so they look a bit less neat and a bit more full and fluffy. Next product is from Wet n Wild. I think I got this in a glossy box ages ago, but when I finish this, I'm definitely gonna rebuy it because I love it. It is the Ultimate Brow Highlighter. It's not shimmery or anything like that. It just lightens under my brows. So I just put this right at the front of my brows. Front, is this the front? The middle? No, it's not the middle. What is it? I don't know, the inner part of my brow. That's the one. I can't believe the weather today. It is so gross. But I actually kind of like this weather now. I'm excited for a cozy day. Anyway, for my brow bone highlight, I use Glossier's Lid Star. This is actually an eyeshadow, but I use it to put under my brows, kind of just here. And this one is a little bit shimmery. It's very subtle, but it's just nice. Then it's at this point I will wipe away the excess powder from under my eyes. Get that gone. For highlighter, I've been using this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand. Easy highlighter. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. I got this recently and I love it. It's like this little cushion at the end and you just dab it on your cheekbones. Super easy. Then 
I use the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray again. I usually wouldn't put makeup on when I'm just staying at home, but for the sake of this video, I thought it'd be interesting to show you my daily routine. So the next step is mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes, and then I've been using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara recently, and I really like it. Again, it's very subtle, it's very pretty, it's not clumpy, it lengthens your lashes, but I don't feel like it gives them much volume. Personally, that's what I like in a mascara these days. And then the final step is a little bit of lip balm. This is from Glossier. This is the mintbalm.com. And that is my everyday makeup routine. Ta-da! So guys, that is what my mornings look like now. I'm not gonna lie, I do really enjoy the mornings now. I love when Sunny's all sleepy and cuddly. I like starting my day earlier as well. I'm much more productive and I'm in bed asleep by midnight every night now, which was unheard of before. So probably a lot better for my health as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go and check out Estrude and use the code Hannah at checkout. Thank you very much to the team for very kindly sponsoring this video. Let me know in the comments down below, are you a morning person or an evening person? I would say I prefer the evenings, but I don't mind the mornings now. Do subscribe to see my future videos. Stick around, come along on the journey. Watch this little one grow up with me. How cute. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on Sunday morning with the weekly vlog. Bye guys. Love ya. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're tired waking me up at seven in the morning. <laughs>